Hello, and welcome to my new video. I am going to fly the Rifter in this video, because after some thinking about which ships I should fly next, I um, thought the Rifter would be fun. Uh, it took me some time to figure out the fit, because I wasn't sure what to do. You can fit it on shields, you can fit it on armor, and I finally decided on this fit. It has three uh, auto cannons, afterburner, web scram, 400 mm plate, ancel armor wrapper, damage control, and gyro stabilizer, two times the trimac armor pump trick, and a burst rate for some more DPS. Uh, this fit is really, really great on tank. You have 6,400 uh, EHP and the ancel armor wrapper, but the DPS isn't great. Uh, this fit actually didn't work as well as I hoped it would, but I still got some fun fights. Uh, you need a 1% power grid implant and the armor rigging skill uh, on 4, so the power grid works. And yeah, that's it. I have some different ammo types, like hail for um, maximum damage, barrage for some more range, EMPS for shield chips and fusion for armor ships. The navy uh, ammo is also good in case you need better tracking, and of course some nanites for the ancillary armor repairer. So enjoy the fights, and let's go! Okay, first fight, I am fighting a rifter, we have ranged the 1v1 at the sun, and I land at zero on him. I uh, do a keep at range, and uh, we both apply our maximum damage. I start the armor wrapping a bit late and I'm already at half armor when I get the first drop in. You see, this pilot actually had a different drifter with a lot more DPS but less tank. But it worked out for him. If this had been my first fight in the rifter, I might have chosen a different fit, but yeah. This second fight also didn't went my way. It was the first fight I had, and I had hail loaded. This pilot actually chose to orbit me 500, so I got a few good hits in, but then I started missing, and I couldn't reload in time. Here you see my autocannons miss and his blaster still hit. I tried to manually get some uh, lower transversal, but it doesn't help, and now I start the reload to Republic Fleet Fusion. But while I'm reloading, I'm already past half armor, and my cap runs out. Start shooting again, and I hit very well, but it is too late, and I'm going into hell, and he can still wrap a lot. So, again, you see me die. Now my cap capacitor is empty, my AB is off, and I immediately die. GF. Next fight, I am sliding in on a Punisher. Punishers can be scary because they are really tanky, and they can be a bait, but uh, they don't have a good range control, so uh, you can disengage and warp off almost every time when you see it's a bait. This Punisher was really tanky, but still I got through him pretty fast. I changed my keybait range from 6 kilometers to 5 kilometers. The presetting was wrong, but now that I get closer, I hit a bit better. He hits me very well, but I have a lot of tank in the armor, so I don't really care. And he's already going past half, uh, towards half armor. I wrap once to conserve cap. And uh, I also see he ha only has me wrapped, so worst case scenario, I can warp off. But the D-scan is still clear, so he doesn't seem to be bait. He's going into 20% armor. I don't have to heat anymore, I'm not very concerned at this moment. He goes into hell, I approach so I get better um, better hits in. And there he goes. Bye bye Punisher. Next fight, I am sliding in on incursors. I immediately, immediately align out because I know he's double web fit. So I try to pull some range so I can get transversal and uh, get good hits while he is out of void range. This pilot actually contacted me and wanted a 1v1, and of course I accepted. 
I line out and I'm ready to warp off in case uh, it gets too hot. I overheat my weapons, start trapping. And you see he's orbiting me, but every time uh, I get a few hits hit in, hits in. So I'm slowly getting through his armor. I still have a lot of tank left, so I'm pretty confident. I turn off the heat on my AB because I almost burnt it out. Cap is getting an issue now, so I turn off my uh, armor wrapper, but almost immediately reactivate it because I need the tank. Here I make the big mistake of forgetting to put auto reload off, so my Ansel reloads and I can't use it empty. And this dude actually brought in his alt. Come on, if you ask for a 1v1, honor it, please. You can't just bring in your alt to get the point last second. That's not honorable. Okay, next fight. This crow decided to fight me at zero on the end dog. <laughs> I really don't know what he thought, but yeah, I take it. <laughs> Goodbye, crow. Next fight. I am sliding in on the Tristan. He only has T1 drones, but Tristans can be really scary. They have a lot of DPS and they potentially uh, kite you, so I overheat my webs and scram to catch him. Here I get a web and the scram and I start shooting him. I accidentally deactivate web and scram, but I reactivate them so nothing happened. I do a keep at range for kilometers, which is the perfect range for my auto cannons, but blasters will hit worse, so that's my uh, default setting. He's going into hull, but he seems to be hull tanked. I didn't have to rap until now, now I rap a bit because I'm a bit nervous. But there he already goes. GF Tristan. Next one, I am sliding in on an Atrom. I immediately pull range from him and um, hope to get out of his blaster range. You see he gets one volley in, the next volley is already smaller and he starts missing. I rap a bit, but it's not really necessary because uh, he missed a few shots and he's already going into low hull. He was a bit late on his answer, so I can fast blob him off. GF. Next fight, a ranged one view at the sun. I am landing on this Tristan and I suspect him to be a nude fit. And as you see, he actually is nude fit. There are the nudes. The, this fight wouldn't have been possible in any other rifter because I wouldn't have enough buffer to survive. But here you see I'm almost out of cap but I don't have to repair because the buffer keeps me alive. And auto cannons don't need cap to shoot so I can just spam the scram to, um, to keep him in place. I manually orbit so transversal is lower and I get some good hits in. And there he goes, GF Tristan. Close on the cap there. <laughs> okay, I slide in on an Algos. I approach, AB on. Get webs and scram. Start shooting. There are the drones incoming. This person also only had T1 drones, so it wasn't wasn't too bad. Overheating a bit, but yeah, I'm only just now going into armor and his shields are almost gone. I hope he's shield fit because if he's not, I have to run. Here he actually activates a burst jammer, so I have to relock him. But I get him again before he can warp off. And yes, his armor drops faster, so I should be fine. I deactivate heat on the AB. He goes into hell, half hell. I still didn't have to rep one single time and he dies. GF Algos. Okay, this fight was so great. I was sitting on the gate and this Enio poked me and I finally decided to just go for it. 
I do the keep at range at 6 km, so I get out of his blaster range, activate AB, web scram weapons on him. He's MWD fit, so I can have range control, which is very great against blaster ships. You see he starts missing, and here he activates his um, assault damage control. I was late on deactivating heat while he was having it activated, so um, yeah. But there drops the assault damage control, and I get a few good volleys into his armor. I'm not even in half shield yet, and he's dropping fast. I was actually really surprised by the um, the amount of DPS I could put in his armor. I expected the Enya to be a lot more tanky. I overheat my weapons and my scram to keep him in place. Now he starts hitting me. And I have to activate my armor repairer. He only has me scrammed, so um, if I have to, I can disengage and try to get out. I deactivate heat on the weapons so I don't burn out. Cap is getting kind of close. So, um, and my armor is getting lower, but his armor is getting really low as well. He's going into hull, but T2. Galente frigates have a lot of hull buffer, and I don't. So at this point I just approach and hope to get a few good volleys in before I die. And he goes into half hull, and unfortunately I die. This was so a, such a good fight, really. GF. Next fight. I engage this catalyst, and I uh, saw he had railguns, so that was easy. <laughs> I just orbit him 500, so his guns don't track, and I get through him. Take some time because the catalyst is pretty tanky, but he doesn't hit me at all. So um, yeah, I ask in low in um, local the people to stay out, and I just get through him. He goes into hull, and there's the hull buffer. I'm a bit nervous now, his friends will undock, but nothing happens, I'm just slowly getting through his owl. There is a twist in landing, oh, but it's fine. Okay, that was easy. Now I do a keep at range in instead of the orbit, so I get a few more good volleys in. He starts hitting me now, but it doesn't really matter because there he dies. JF Catalyst. Okay, that's all the fights I got. I say thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next video. If you have a specific fit or ship you would like to see, as always, put it in the comments and I will take a look. You can also send me an in-game mail, and yeah, have a good day.